Hello there. This is Tim Warner. I'm the host of the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide, as well as the host of the Inform IT On Certification Screencast Channel. Today's screencast deals with what's the big deal with VMware certification. Our agenda is A, to learn what the fuss is all about with VMware. What is VMware? Of course, that could be another subject in itself. We're going to just give a nutshell summary. And in particular, what's up with VMware certification? It's kind of a slippery slope. It's a confusing subject. To that end, we'll give you a brief tour of the VMware certification website, learn how to navigate it, and I'll offer you my contact information. What is VMware anyway? VMware has been around for a while. If you've been in the industry for the last several years, I guarantee you've bumped up against it in one way or another. Nowadays, more than ever, virtualization is a hot technology. Microsoft is fully on board with their Hyper-V product. VMware has been on board for a long, long time. They've been pioneers in this space. According to Wikipedia, in full server virtualization, or what's called platform or OS virtualization, the virtual machine simulates enough hardware to allow an unmodified guest OS to be run in isolation. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what that looks like right now. VMware in action. This is showing a screen capture of what's called a host PC. Now your host PC is your actual hardware. So in this screen capture, the host PC or the hardware PC where the user is actually sitting down is running it looks like some flavor of Red Hat Linux. All right? And then that Linux box has some looks like VMware Workstation installed. And on that Linux box, in a virtualized virtual machine, there is running a full installed copy of Windows 2000 Professional. Now, as far as the network is concerned, this Windows 2000 instance can get out potentially onto the local area network, can get out onto the internet, this virtual machine shares hardware resources with the host. In other words, one reason in business why virtualization is so hot is that you can save lots of money by collapsing hardware resources. Instead of having a huge rack of separate servers, you can have a single server with maybe 10 virtual machines running inside of it. Instantly, you can start to see the cost savings there, right? In a nutshell, the VMware product family looks like this. They have desktop software and enterprise server software. The desktop software that can be run on individual workstations, you've got folks like developers who would use this, you've got IT pros who would use desktop software, or even end users who might, for instance, need to use VMware to run a legacy OS. You might have a company who's gone to Vista but they have line of business applications that just have to still run under, heaven forbid, Windows 98. So the IT department might give them a VMware virtual machine running Windows 98 in that line of business application. While their host computer runs Vista, they can fire up the VMware virtual machine running Windows 98 when the user wants to use their line of business app. For PC, there's VMware Workstation, for Mac, there's VMware Fusion, and there's a limited free product called VMware Player. On the server side, this is where the certification stuff comes in. There's VMware ESX. This is a bare metal product. You don't even need an OS. It's just a self-contained unit. That's big money. VMware ESXi, this used to be big money. Now VMware gives it away for free. It's bare metal. It's actually very stripped down. You get less to play with than VMware ESX. And then there's VMware Server. This does require a host OS, but it's also free. So VMware has historically been very friendly with their licensing. In a nutshell, VMware certifications are at the baseline level or associate level, VMware Certified Professional, VCP. In development, it's always a question with VMware how final their certs are. It's kind of frustrating to follow, quite frankly. There's the VMware Certified Design Expert. This is their top tier credential. At this point, why don't we hop up on the web and go to their website and take a look and see what the status of that credential is.
In my opinion, the easiest way to find the VMware certification website, at least initially, is to go to Google. They don't really have an intuitive URL scheme at their domain. So we'll just type VMware certification and we'll hit up VMware Educational Services. All right, now, I've said this before. If you've followed my stuff at the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide, if you do a search in Inform IT for VMware certification, you'll hit a series of blog posts I've published there where I pull no punches about my critique of this site. Their certification stuff hasn't been updated in a long time. They're still talking about announcing this VCDX certification, and they don't really make it easy at all for somebody who's brandy new to VMware certification to get his or her sea legs. It's really difficult, frankly. So frankly, your best bet, if I could use frankly one more time, <laughs> is to hit up the certification forums. Over here on the right, there's a VCP forum and a VCDX forum. And it's kind of funny to read the threads because a lot of the participants there are kind of haranguing the VMware employees saying, look, will you make this process a little bit clearer than mud? Bottom line, friends, I'll summarize the process. The VCP or the VMware Certified Professional is one exam, but there's a huge caveat. You have to sit for their instructor-led training class before you take the test. Well, frankly, you could do it after the test, but you can't get your credential unless you take the ILT class. Now, that's not cheap, and that can be a deal breaker for some. Now, over on the right, if we go under FAQs, there's a question here dealing with preparing for the VCDX. Remember, this is the design, the top-tier credential, and it tells us, let me crank up the font a little bit, that if you want to become the VMware design engineer, you already have to be a VCP, so you have to pass the VCP exam. You have to pass two other exams. They say that one exam is now available, the system admin exam. Take the design exam available late August. Well, guess what? I'm recording this on November 10th. Guess they haven't updated this text. And this VCDX credential also requires that you submit and defend a VMware infrastructure design plan. Now, do you have to take a class as well? Depends on who you talk to. That's what I said where this gets a little bit tricky. You're going to have to do a lot of research and ask a lot of questions if you want to become a VMware Certified Professional or a VMware Certified Design Engineer. What are Pearson's initiatives in this space? Well, we're getting ready to launch an exam cram title that's really hot stuff, quite frankly. Exam crams helped me a lot over the course of my certification career. They're good stuff, so keep that in mind. And I've recorded a couple screencasts here at the On Certification channel on Cert Prep Online, this is a web-based a web exam preparation practice exam tool. And Cert Flashcards Online, another web-based late-stage exam prep tool. Flashcards make for really good, kind of drill it into your head, late-stage stuff. So keep both of those products in mind. We haven't yet released the VCP stuff for these products, but they're worth looking at these URLs keeping them bookmarked, and periodically checking up on them. Finally, contact information. Tim Warner is my name. Inform IT forward slash on certifications my game. You can also catch me at the certification reference guide. Hit up informit.com. Look for the reference guides link. Normally you can see that in the upper right corner of the page. You'll find me there. Or you can just do a Google, not, yeah, actually, yeah, Google search will be fine. Or you could do an informit.com site search for certification reference guide or whatnot. Timothy.Warner at Pearson.com is my email address if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching and hanging in there with me. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope you feel at least a little bit more grounded in VMware certification. If anything, I hope you don't feel alone in your confusion because it is kind of a confusing topic. Take good care.